Good morning, children. Good morning, Miss. Good morning, Miss. Okay. I hope that you all are enjoyed in the last video. Shall I ask some questions from that video? Okay, Miss. What is PHP? PHP is the hypertext preprocessor. It is a scripting language. Very good. What is variable? Variable is a memory location. Good. One more question. Can you say about string? String is a collection of characters within the double or single code. Very good. Okay, last question. Can you say some example of the data type? Okay, Miss, I will tell. String, integer, float, boolean, array, object, null, resource. Good. Today also you are going to learn the same topic PHP about variable and data type. Thank you, children. Thank you, Miss. Good morning children. I hope you are fine with God's grace. Children, did you enjoy the last video? Today also we are going to continue the same lesson introduction to PHP. Now we are going to discuss about the PHP data type. PHP scripting language support 13 primitive data types. Data types plays important role in all programming language to classify the data according to the logics. Here, there are the 8 important data type we are going to learn in PHP. String, Integer, Float, Boolean, Array, Object, Null and Resources. These are the important data types. Let's see about the String data type. What is String data type? String is the collection of character within the double or single quotes. String is a collection of character within the double or single quotes. Already I explain about the PHP, how to write the PHP coding. Here we should start with the open tag and close with the end tag. So let's see one example. Here using the string data type, how to write the one simple program. Here first we start with the open tag. Less than symbol, question mark, PHP is the open PHP tag. Here I declare the two variable x and y. Already I told the children before the variable we should give the dollar symbol. So here there are the two variable x and y before we include the dollar symbol. So dollar x equal to within double quotes computer application. String is the collection of character within double or single quotes. So, within the double quotes, just I give computer application. This is the value. Here, dollar $x is the one variable. Again, one more variable, dollar $y equal to within single quotes, computer application. So, both are the string character within double quotes or single quotes. Both are the string character. Next one is the echo command. Echo is the output command. So, echo dollar symbol x. So, what is the output we will get children? So, in the variable x, we declare within the double quotes computer application. So, this is the output. Next one, echo br. br is the break the line. So, next output, it will be display one new line. So, in the absence of the break statement, the output will be display the same line. Okay, next one echo dollar symbol y so here y is the within the single quotes we give computer application so in the string character we can give single quotes or double quotes so echo dollar symbol y means here the output is the computer application this is said to be the string data type next one is the integer integer is the data type which contain 
non decimal numbers non decimal number means for example 50 is a non decimal number 50.56 this is the decimal number so integer means integer is the data type which contain non decimal numbers here we see some example so we start with the open tag less than symbol question mark php is the open tag one variable x so dollar symbol x equal to 59135 this is the number it is the non decimal number so x equal to 59135 is the non decimal number this is said to be the integer data type for example we give, we give 59.135 means this is the decimal number this is not the integer data type so integer means non decimal number is said to be the integer data type next one where of dump so where dump is the it is the function it return the type of the variable here x is the variable what is the type of the variable here x is the integer data type so it display the type as well as the value so x is the integer data type it return the value 59135 now let's see null data type null is a special data type which contain single value for example here open tag then variable x then one more variable x equal to null value so here the dump it return the null values so null is the special data type which contain single value that is called the null data type okay next one operators in php so operator is a symbol which is used to perform mathematical and logical operations in the programming language so operator for example c equal to a plus b here a and b are the two values plus is the operator for example c equal to a multiplication symbol b so multiplication is the one more operator so operator is the symbol which is used to perform mathematical and logical operation in the programming language there are different types of operator in php first one arithmetic operator second one assignment operator third one comparison operator fourth one increment or decrement operator fifth one logical operator last one string operator we will see one by one operator okay first one arithmetic operator so arithmetic operator means basic mathematical symbol is said to be the arithmetic operator okay children what are the basic arithmetic operator plus minus multiplication division modulus value power value these are the basic arithmetic operator here we will see one by one so this table column shows first one symbol then operator name third one what is the use of the operator so first one plus symbol plus symbol is basic one that is the addition for example a equal to b plus c so here plus is the addition operator it will add the two value b and c so plus is the addition operator this operate operator perform the process of adding numbers second one subtraction symbol so subtraction means it is used to subtract the two numbers c equal to a minus b so this operator is used to perform the subtracting numbers then third one multiplication it multiply the two values fourth one division it divide the two numbers the next one is the modulus value so we, if we want to find out the modulus value we can use the modulus value symbol so this is the arithmetic operator then next one is the assignment operator so assignment operator means for example c equal to a plus b here c is the variable a and b are the two values here plus is the addition operator here one more operator we are using equal symbol so what is the meaning of equal symbol equal symbol is the one more operator but this operator is said to be the assignment operator so equal symbol is said to be the assignment operator for example here x equal to y here equal symbol is the assignment operator x 
plus equal to y equal to this is the addition assignment operator x minus equal to y means this is the subtraction assignment operator then multiplication equal means multiplication assignment operator division equal means this is the division assignment operator the last one is the modulus assignment operator so equal symbol is said to be the assignment operator now we are going to see about float data type float is the data type which contain decimal numbers okay already i said about the integer so integer is the non decimal number float is the decimal number here one example is 19.15 so 19.15 is the decimal number so here we see some small example open tag that is less than question mark php here one variable is x is the variable x equal to 19.15 here 19.15 is the float then where dump dump is the function name it returns the types and value of the variable here x is the variable it return the float value then close the php tag now boolean boolean is the data type which denote the possible two values here possible two value means whether true or false or yes or no or zero and one anything so there are the any two possible value this is said to be the boolean data type for example x and y are the two variables here in the place of the x true in the place of the y false so this is said to be the boolean then next one is the array array is the data type which has multiple value in a single variable so we can store the number of values in one single value for example see here car is the variable name dollar symbol cars is the variable name here in the variable name cars we can store number of values here we can store number of value means array of computer laptop mobile etc like this so array is the data type which has multiple value in the single variable so inside the array we can give the number of values the number of values we can store in one single variable one single variable is here car is the one single variable here in the place of the car we can store the number of values this is said to be the array data type okay children the rest of the operator we will see in the next video thank you children